Good afternoon and greetings from South Wales. My name's Gareth and um, just to alliterate and um, cap back on what I said when I was going for a walk earlier about this DMT entity called Sandy. Well, <clears throat> um, there's lots to the story and when I can remember I, I'll, I'll, I'll divulge it all but um, I don't I don't know if you can remember but I did say that I had to do something very special for to be granted a kiss with this uh, guardian angel I know it's crazy the story gets crazier and crazier by the minute okay let's let's talk about the something special I had to do okay um, <clears throat> right. Where to begin? Okay, let's begin at the very beginning, obviously. By this time, because I was smoking quite a bit of DMT, I developed psychosis and um, I didn't need DMT to hear these voices or talk to Sandy and whoever I was talking to. Now, Apparently, I was talking to my father. Now, my father died in 1987, and I also had a brother who unfortunately died of a heroin overdose in 1999. So I got two dead relatives who I love very much. And uh, I was there the one night in the kitchen, um, making a bit of music, and um, I heard, I love you, twice. And then for some reason it said son so that was the beginning of my relationship with my dead father so anyway um, let's cut forward a little <clears throat> and I did this amazing DMT trip once and again I, I do most of my DMT trips in the kitchen sometimes I do them outside I haven't done them for years I, I have no need to at the moment but but <clears throat> It was amazing. It was such a loving energy. For some reason, I felt two two beings by the side of me, and I felt a tugging on my uh, on my on my jumper, on my on my sweater, as you say in America. And um, I just just I just had the feeling it was my father and my brother. I can't say for sure. I really can't say for sure. And a ball of light flew past me, and. Um, there were people in there waving and things like that. It was an amazing DMT experience. So that night I went to bed thinking about it. And a, 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 a plasma energy seemed to surround me. Now this is the first time this had happened. And uh, I, I, couldn't I couldn't ignore it. What I, basically what I was doing, I was lying in bed looking at YouTube looking for something to in you know looking for something interesting to watch but at the same time I, I you know I tried to take no notice of this plasma energy around me but but at the same time I was thinking what the fuck are you and um, I didn't know whether it was good or evil I, I didn't have a clue all I knew it was unusual and it was just just completely out of the ordinary so as I was like scrolling YouTube this energy pointed towards a video and this video <clears throat> was called a boy called Baddy now it was about an African child who has nothing he works in the fields and the guy presenting the video his name is John st. Julian look him look him up he's a he's a beautiful human being and he does amazing work in Africa <clears throat> Now this John St. Julian was saying that all this boy needs is £2.50 a week to, to get him out of the fields working and into education and food. So I felt quite embarrassed. I thought, I'm wasting all this money on drink and £2.50 can go and save this boy's life. So, you know, so I assumed this energy was trying to tell me something. And then, <clears throat> so this energy pointed towards another uh, video that was on my news feed and this video I forget the name but I'll, I'll bring it up later in one of my next vlogs I'll try and find the video but it was it was about 
the 23rd of September 2015 and numerology and apparently something was gonna go down something was gonna go down big because apparently they worked it out that you know the nine one the nine eleven was uh, uh, involved with numerology and I do know occult occultism is out there and it's happening and it's big and um, you know the world leaders yeah, are in control because they use all this symbolism and occult things so anyway um my point being the last video i told you i had to do something special in order to be granted a kiss with my guardian angel sandy who i don't believe was my guardian angel now what well, now i don't i have to bear with me a minute so um this 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 energy pointed towards this video the 23rd of September and and something big was going down and um, so I looked into it more and there was more and more cropping up about you know uh, numerology and uh, something's going to happen on the 23rd of September 2015 so you know it, it occupied my mind a bit I was thinking what, what are they trying to tell me? You know, what, what is going to go down? And the date wasn't far off. It was a few weeks away. <clears throat> I, I didn't have a job at the time, so what I did was uh, deliver leaflets. I was delivering leaflets just to earn some money. And um, like I said, by this time, I'd struck up psychosis, so I was talking to spirits. And as far as I was concerned, I was talking to my father. Now, one day during my job delivering leaflets my I assume it was my father I, I doubt very much it was I'll get to that later it said um, how would you like to come and see us tonight son now don't forget I got two dead relatives my brother and my father so I thought do you know what well, yeah I, I'll, 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 I'll pop in and see you yes so I was instructed to go home and smoke a big bowl of DMT. Now I, I'm, I'm not. I, I love DMT, not as much as like I was piping it every day, but I, I, I'm still scared of the stuff. So I got home, and no, before I got home, funny enough, um, these voices, these voices, for some reason. I think it was my dad asked me to pop into Asda Superstore to buy some cheese. One of his favourite cheeses that he used to like when he was alive, for some reason. So I did that. And I got home. And uh, usually when I do DMT, I don't have a lot because I don't like breakthroughs. I just like the, um, the lighter side of DMT. And... Um, this time I was instructed to sit down. I hadn't, I hadn't had any DMT by this time. Don't forget I had psychosis and I was hearing these voices. And um, so I, I listened and I sat down with this massive bowl of DMT in my pipe. <clears throat> and I didn't really want to do it. So I, but I was very nervous of um, meeting my father and meeting my brother um, so as I started talking on this DMT these voices would say more more take it keep keep, keep going keep going keep going and I had to have a breath and then I hit it some more and they was going keep going keep going keep going and then all of a sudden they went here we go and there I went and then this lady's voice uh, overtook and uh, she was. She sounded very pleasant. She sounded, um, you know, she, she, a very nice lady. She was polite. She was telling me jokes, and she called me honey. Ooh. And um, she said, Gareth, honey. She said, all you have to do is kiss your father. And this has never been done before. And we are going to take you further than anybody has ever been on a DMT trip. Okay, okay. That's what they said, you know. And um, so 
I can remember most of my DMT trips. I, I can't hardly remember, but this I remember in, in in a lot of detail. Not not everything, but quite a bit. And I can remember being pulled up through these dimensions. And as that was happening, for some reason, I lost control of my tongue. My tongue. I fell back. I fell back in the chair, and that's all I could remember doing it was this and uh, as I was going up through these dimensions each dimension had like a waiting room it a room would appear and each time that happened I, I, I thought oh my father and my brother are gonna come out and greet me now but that never happened and uh, each doorway or dimension there'd be like alien beings there and as this woman was talking to me very humorous he was talking very uh, you know hum humorous humorous and um very loving and gentle and as she was talking to me the, these aliens would nudge me and they'd wink and wave and blow kisses and then she said um hang in there gareth we're almost at the top and as she said that her second words were right gareth if this kiss doesn't go off then the whole universe will be destroyed now this was the 23rd of september all this doomsday shit i'd been reading about and uh, people have worked out with the numerology which quite frankly i do not know a lot about but i do know it's uh, it, it involved with occultism so by this time i was thinking oh fucking shit so and, and i believed it i you know it, as far as i was concerned it was real so she um as we got to the top she said i want you to close your eyes and as i closed my eyes I saw visions of hell, <clears throat> the first thing I saw. The first thing I saw was a pile of people, they were all mangled up, stuck together. And um, they were trying to have sex together. And this voice said, these are the people who, who was in life could, could never be satisfied. And there were demons spitting acid at me and things like that. I, I wasn't scared, I, I just thought, this is, this is a bit much, but it's DMT. And then she said, uh, like I said, she said, Gareth, honey, if this kiss doesn't go off, off, the whole universe will be destroyed. She said, shut your eyes, lick your lip. She, that's right. As my tongue was going in and out like that, she, she said, you can put your tongue back in now, Gareth. And as she said that, I gained control of my tongue. And she said, lick your lips and pack her up because here he comes. But she said, like I said, she said, I wanted you to shut. I wanted you to shut your eyes and that's when I seen the visions of hell and then she started to count down here we go five four three two and as she got a two she said hold on a minute we're having a bit of technical difficulties so I thought oh god this is great like, and I was just thinking hurry up dad come through so we can fucking save the universe and um she done that once or twice, and I got the feeling that they were taking the piss. Out. Well, not at the time I didn't, because as far as I was concerned, it was going on, and I I, I was saving the universe. And um, so then silence prevailed, and I must have been sat there for about twenty minutes, twenty five minutes, pipe in hand, lighter in my other hand, and then all of a sudden. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, she said, Gareth, it's done. You can relax. She said, and now you can go, you can go down your mother's and tell her all about it over a cup of tea. Now that's just one, one crazy, in, uh, you know, um, story about my uh, DMT trip. And that's the something special I had to do why I was granted a kiss with Sandy and in my next blog I'll tell you about uh, my kiss with Sandy my guardian angel apparently but um, I don't you know I think she was a, a bit of a succubus in the end but uh, 
I hope you enjoy my stories and I'll uh, get back to you very soon.